So, hello everyone and welcome to the 74th edition of the Locarno Film Festival. Uh, my name is Stefan Ivancic and I'm one of the members of the selection committee of the festival. And I'm here uh, today to host the press conference of the film Nebesa, Heavens Above, uh, by director Sergeant Dragovic, who is here with us. And uh, we also have uh, Ksenia Marinkovic and Natasha Markovic, the two actresses uh, of the film, and Biljana Flavanovic, the producer of the film, who is here also in the first row. So please. <laughs> Um, so, uh, please also feel free whenever you have uh, any questions to raise your hands. Um, and I'm going to start by asking Sergen one question. And it's um, related to the origin of this film, which uh, you, you show in the beginning. You say that it's inspired by the short stories of uh, Marcel Lemay. So, um, could you tell us a little bit more about how uh, did you find the connection between between his short stories and uh, the reality of, of the post-Yugoslav countries that you are showing us mm -hmm. in the film today? Um, well, first of all, thank you all for seeing our film. Um, it was a, a long break uh, between uh, ending up with a, with a film shooting and post-production and um, today. Um, more than a year in Corona Bunker. So I'm so happy that film is finally in front of the audience. And um, such a pleasure being here, uh, talking about film. That's something I, I was really missing for the last year when we mostly talk uh, through Zoom conferences, completely detached from each other. Uh, this human contact is really important to me. Um, regarding the um, origin for the film, um, I discovered this uh, short stories book uh, when I was in the early 20s. Uh, at that time I was um, a well-known poet in um, uh, ex-Yugoslavia. Uh, one of the youngest, uh, with the three books of poetry. I studied psychology, I was writing um, short stories for the various magazines all around Yugoslavia. And um, I found this book and I, uh, uh, I said to myself, it's fantastic material for the film, but I wasn't in the film at that time. I was, uh, I never, I never knew that I'm going to get into this uh, hard and challenging profession. <laughs> and um, almost three decades later, I found this book. I remember my, I remembered my fascination uh, uh, for these stories, and I decided that's a perfect material for me since I was doing quite different films before uh, about uh, war, um, uh, teenage comedies, uh, about crime scene in um, Yugoslavian 90s, uh, about gay rights. Um, being as an author, being a postmodernist and eclectic, uh, eclectic I uh, figured out that this is perfect material for me and uh, it was extremely challenging uh, to uh, transfer um, Paris um, uh, 20th century uh, 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 1920 to uh, modern time uh, ex-Yugoslavia or Eastern Europe uh, and uh, but actually these uh, three stories work equally good as in uh, France 1920 and as I think that's a that's a privilege and uh, that's a sign of a, a good literature good writing um, so you, you you saw the film and um, there are 
a lot of things I care about. I do not expect that audience will pick up everything I wanted to say, all the metaphors, there are a lot of them. But I think that uh, people will watch this film with um, more or, 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 or less ambition. Some of them will be, I hope, amused. And some of them will try to uh, learn something from it. But it's a, it's a process. It's, I'm trying to make, basically I'm trying to make film for the uh, working man, from the general audience in, in Europe. I'm trying to, uh, to remember what the film and cinema uh, was in the uh, 60s and 70s when the films really influenced the people and the ordinary people uh, to kind of uh, jump over that gap that exists uh, in contemporary cinema um, which is divided uh, like in a um, Wells time machine um, for the films from uh, Morlocks and films from Elves. Um, uh, so I would, I would like, so you, you know what I'm saying, it's about, uh, you have a superheroes Netflix films and then you have very uh, the hermetic uh, art house films. I, I'm trying to jump over that, that gap and to bring uh, a normal audience together. And uh, sometimes I manage to do it. Thank you. Well, you, you tackled uh, something that I wanted to ask you, but I will maybe come back uh, to it uh, later. But I would like to go back to, to, to the structure of the film, which is um, divided in, in three parts, each one of them uh, taking place in, in a different time, in 1993, in 2001, and the final part uh, in 2026. So, uh, why exactly these three years? Yeah, uh, uh, these three eras are uh, important to me because um, the first uh, part is set in time, in the 90s, when we really, I mean, me, my family, most of the country lived through the hell, the war, the um, uh, sanctions, uh, inflations, like in Germany in 28, 29, like a 100,000 every day uh, points, and uh, uh, it's a really difficult period in, uh, in, in our lives. Uh, 2001, the second story, it's a story about uh, uh, transition, about liberal capitalism coming to our home, and with all the good and uh, mostly bad things happening. Uh, uh, and the third story is um, uh, present day, near future, and um, the story is the mostly related, uh, I see it related to myself personally, because it opens question about uh, nutritious art, uh, um, a story about a creative, that monster, monster called the creative industry that's a product of liberal capitalism which which says that uh, art is um, only good as it makes money so that's the and i of course against that i mean against that i think the artist has the right to create no matter is his creation will bring profit so basically that's the story that it's a really important to um, to my um, everyday life, my uh, career, creation, and it's a, we always ask questions about uh, 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 about about it. I mean, uh, are we making film for ourselves or for distributors, for film funds, uh, for someone who will at the end earn some some money? Or we uh, we are making films basically uh, for the pleasure of creation. So um, related to to this uh, 
three different periods of time, I would like to ask Xenia and Natasha how challenging or how was this process of working on a character that appears in the film in, in different times. So in the case of, of Xenia, she plays uh, the same person in totally different circumstances, in different times, and Natasha picks up from a character that exists in the film as a, as a child before. So how was for you this? Well, this was really a, a big uh, pleasure to play uh, this crazy character. Uh, so I enjoyed it every minute and I think I understood it from the beginning when I saw the script that this is some uh, world which uh, is based on extremes. So uh, it has to be funny, but also it has to be really dark. She is a refugee. Uh, she is a common, uh, simple woman. Uh, she cares about everybody else, but uh, uh, except her husband. <laughs> she cares about the, what we will say. And she is trying to make him a normal person. And then when everything went wrong, she just, how do you propadne Propala žena. She is a destroyed woman. She is a destroyed woman and years are going and she doesn't know where, where her daughter, uh, his daughter is. Uh, uh, she doesn't know, she doesn't understand anything. But she is just a destroyed woman. Yeah. And that's like it. She meets her daughter, Natasha. And she meets her, but they don't live in the same uh, uh, universe at all. So this is basically it. Um, actually, the first story was uh, shooted first, and I went on the shooting to see little Sana, who played myself, or I played herself in the future, uh, and. Uh, that helped me actually to play this woman and I actually we constructed the story between because there in, in the film it wasn't the story what happened to the family and why we know why they broke broke up but actually we construct, constructed what happened to her during that period and um, actually uh, it's a from the point of view of my character this is the story of, about the human nature actually and uh, a story about the family and how the family actually infected the character I played but uh, I see that story in, in which I play I see that is a story of love actually through the, through the art uh, through the visual art uh, it's very complicated story with the mother it's very complicated story with the, with the father but she actually decided to do something to herself and uh, art and uh, love helped her and it's also connected with the religion because love is very important to the, uh, to the religion and important to the character I played. 